Good morning guys and girls, gamers and gamesses. Today we're going to be looking at how to make watchtowers and fences, what you're going to need and the equipment and where to find it. Now as you can see I've got four out of five short sticks here and two out of five short sticks over there. That is the fundamental part for the fence kits. The next thing you need is a piece of rope per fence kit and you want to hold RT over the fence kit that you want and that will bring up the creation animation and as you can see the creation animation gives you the fence kit if you've got the correct parts now when you've got the two sticks you can create the fence kit only when you've got the four sticks you create the watchtower kit also we're just going to head over to two of the kits that I made earlier. As you can see, we've put a wood log in that and we're just gonna go over how to put wood logs in things and how to get wood logs. So if we just go over to this tree here, and as you can see, it's a nice thick tree. We hold RT with a splitting axe or fireman's axe found in industrial buildings, farm buildings, and of course, fire stations. And we let those wood logs fall to the floor pop our splitting axe away and pick up the wood log. Now we're just going to fast forward this bit. And there we go. We've got four wood logs in the watchtower and two wood logs in the fence kit. Now you're holding RT in front of your kit to be able to put the, the base building up. As you can see, four poles ready for construction. And we're going to do the same on the fence kit only we're going to use the shovel to demonstrate that you can do it on both the shovel and the pickaxe. As you can see there, the shovel is hard at work and voila, two poles for the fence foundation. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put the planks on. The way you do that is you get your nails like so, you pop them in the fence kit inventory and we'll just do that to the three sides here to demonstrate and the next thing you need is you need planks so we're going to grab our saw from our inventory and saws are found in industrial buildings or warehouse buildings sometimes in farm buildings as well. We're going to go over to our lumber pile and we're going to hold RT. You get three wood planks per cut here um, and that is more than you'd get if you cut a wood log from a tree. Now as you can see over time the handsaw gets worn so what you want to do is you want to stop cutting wood logs, pop that handsaw down and get out your sharpening stone. Now sharpening stones can be used to increase the quality of sharpened weapons so that you can continue to use them. You find these in farm buildings and industrial buildings as with the pickaxe, shovel, handsaw and hammer. And then we're just going to carry on cutting so that we can get the planks that we need. like so and you guys might be wondering what we need all these planks for it's 20 wood planks per panel that includes the watchtower so if you put a panel on a watchtower it's 20 wood planks per panel and that's the same with the fence as well that will give you the frames and the um, paneling so that it covers it now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our wood planks and we're just going to demonstrate putting on the wood planks right from the frame part of it all the way through to the panel part of it or the panelling part of it. So we're going to attach those using the RT button and we're going to grab our hammer out of our inventory. Like so. And now holding RT you're going to select build lower or upper frame depending on what you want to do first. I always go from the bottom to the top 
and you're going to let the animation do its work. You're then going to do the same for the upper part or hold the RT button to put the wooden panelling on the bottom like so and then you're going to go to the upper frame and do the same again and you're going to go to the upper frame and you're going to put the upper wood wall on. Now you do have an option on the fence kits to put platforms on and we're going to show that in another episode when we cover platforms and security and things like that in the base. But that is a very, very unique feature. And now what we're going to do, guys, is we're actually going to demonstrate how, can you, how you can utilise a watchtower even without the 10 sheets of metal that you need to put on the roof. So you can use a watchtower without that added asset. Um, and they, they look okay. I wouldn't say they look complete, but they look okay. We'll cover putting metal sheets on a watchtower in another video. This is only going to be a short tutorial on the basics of base building. And realistically, the, the metal sheets for the watchtower aren't really necessity for security. It's just a nice cosmetic aesthetic. So we're just going to run on over and get another 20 wood planks so we can show both sides of the watchtower and potentially the ceiling um, of the first floor of the watchtower as well. There you go guys, we're just evening out our inventory so that we can pick up those 20 wood planks. We're going to run over and just pop those wood planks down where we need them. So we're just going to pop them there and we're going to get our hammer out and start the construction process. Now the construction process is much the same as the fence kit but requires a little bit more in the way of resources to be able to do on the watchtower. Now naturally the watchtower has three potential panels, one on the front and two on the sides, and that goes up three floors, three stories. You've got the bottom floor, the middle floor and the upper floor, and each requires a roof. Now the bottom floor is a wood roof along with the middle floor, and then the upper floor, of course, is the metal sheet roof, which is why you don't necessarily need the metal sheet roof if you're only going up two floors. So we're just going to demonstrate that now, guys, in terms of putting the watchtower together. So we're using the RT button, holding the RT button to attach the parts to it, like so. And then we're going to do the same on the right hand side of the watchtower. And if you guys want to come along to the server that I host guys, it is DMZ in the search, capital D, capital M, capital Z, and you want the high loot one, not the test server. If you guys play DayZ at all and you want a nice community atmosphere, then do feel free to jump on my server. All are welcome. And as you can see, guys, we're just finishing off the watchtower. The next step will, of course, be adding the um, roof of the watchtower with the steps as well. So we're just going to chuck those where we need them to be. like so I'm just going to pop the nails down and we're going to run over and grab some more wood planks just so we can finish that first floor of the watchtower now every time you put a floor on a watchtower guys you are going to need another four wood logs and that is because every floor requires that four wood log structural support so that's four to make the base, 
four to make the second floor and four to make the third floor, totaling in 12 logs for the watchtower, not including if you're using logs for planks. Now, as you can see, we're gonna swap, swap over to our hammer and we're gonna make the roof of the watchtower. And this gives you the height advantage if you're in rural areas and gives you the security advantage if you're creating a blockade. And we're just gonna go on and hold RT and build the stairs. Like so. And that, guys, concludes our video on fence kits, watchtowers. Thank you for watching.